Good morning, everyone. Today is the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, and as we continue through this month of November, we remember the holy souls that have gone before us. Please stand. Good morning, everyone. Today, come, O God of all the earth, come to us, O righteous one. Come and bring our love to birth in the glory of your Son. Sing out earth and skies, sing of the God who loves you. Raise your joyful cries, dance to the life around you. Come, O God of wind and flame, fill the earth with righteousness. Teach us all to sing your name, may our lives your love confess. Sing out earth and skies, sing of the God who loves you. Raise your joyful cries, dance to the life around you. Come, O God of flashing light, twinkling star and burning sun, God of day and God of night, in your light we all are one. Sing out earth and skies, sing of the God who loves you. Raise your joyful cries, dance to the life around you. Good morning. All very welcome to Mass, especially the young boys and girls here with us this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We are now coming close to what we call the liturgical year and we'll explain that in a few moments, but every year we begin the year in a way in Advent as we prepare for Christmas. So we'll go through the whole cycle in a few moments. Now let's ask the Lord again now to remove all the distractions, all the worries from our minds. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to his people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you'll honor the Holy One, you'll honor the Lord, you'll honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full of lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated now for the readings.
A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble. And the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us, for we do not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we did not have the right, rather we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way but not by keeping busy, but minding the business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat, on, to eat their own food. Word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you do not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them when you hear of wars and insurrections. Do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines and plagues from place to place, and some awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will seize and persecute some of you. They will hand you over to synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led by kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to you giving testimony Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we, this morning, we'll ask all the boys and girls to come up here. All of you come up here on the altar this morning. Right at the very beginning, end, I see there's some people, all of you, come right up here and sit down. Good. I think there's more. Don't be afraid. Come up here. Yeah, little one. Empty room up here. Come up here. All of you, all of you. Come right up here so you get room. Come up here, boys, girls. Right up. You can come up on the carpet. It's, it's easier on you. Okay, good morning again, all of you. So, every year, the book that I read of, what is that called? The Gospel. The Gospel book, the Bible, right? Now, what is the Bible, first of all? What does it tell us in these? What are we talking about? Yes, miss? What, what are we talking about when we're talking about the Bible? About Jesus and God? About Jesus? Yes, yes. Yes, miss? Prayers. Prayers, yes. Well, we're talking about the life of Jesus, right? Yes. The Lord. The Lord, Jesus. Okay, so this is the book, right? Now, the year is long, so we use a small little part every week, right? Now, we're coming to what we call the end of the liturgical year. The end of the year doesn't come until the end of December, but we begin anew in November, right? So we have one more Sunday to go. Now, we'll finish the year on Sunday coming. It's the 34th Sunday of the year. So we finish next Sunday. Now, what do you think we finish with? How do we celebrate 
the Lord Jesus. How would you think we would celebrate it? You know, when you think of Christmas, he comes as a little baby. But when we finish the year, yes, miss? Go over there. We can't hear you from here. On Christmas, we have to sing as a baby. Jesus. You have to put the mic up to our mouth, right? Go ahead. I'm sure you're right, but I can't hear you. Um, so this is what you did well, you did well. Um, okay, we finish the year next Sunday, the 34th Sunday. Christ the King, King, Lord of all. And you hear a lot about kings at the moment, but we only have one king, and who is that? God, Jesus, yes. So we finish on a high note, Jesus Christ, King and Lord of our lives, right? So, now, how the year goes, okay, you will hear at Christmas, baby Jesus came into the world. How did he come into the world? Yes? Getting born. You'll have to keep that there. I, I must be getting bad at hearing. How did he Get, come in? Getting born. He got born, yes. That's how he came into the world. Okay. Now, who is Jesus' mother? Mary. The Blessed Mother, Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin. Okay, so she... When was Jesus born again? What day is it? The 25th of December. 25th of December, okay. So that's when Jesus was born, right? So we go through the whole year and we follow along Jesus' progress, right? Until we come to next Sunday, then we finish with Christ the King. So Jesus was born on Christmas Day. Was he born into a palace? Was he born into a luxury? Was he born into a beautiful house? No, he was born inside a stable. He was born in a stable, in poverty. In, in, and how did, they, how did they clothe him? What did they call him in the scriptures? What do you think they're called, yes, miss? He called him Jesus. We call him Jesus, yeah. But what, how did they clo what clothes did they put on him? Do you remember what it says in the scripture? What? How did they, what clothes? They put rags on Jesus, swaddling clothes, they called them, because he was very poor, right? So he came into the world on Christmas Day. Then he had to travel into another country for a while. Why did he have to go away into another country for a while? What was the reason? Why did he have to go away? Because there was no stuff that he can live with. Well, there was no stuff that he could live with. Yes, but somebody else was going to try and kill him. So they had to hide baby Jesus. So they went into another country. Who, who was... What were the parents of Jesus again? Who were they? Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph, okay. So they went with the child into another country. They came back. And then we know that something happened when he was 12 years of age. What happened when he was 12 years of age? Did you ever go missing at home? No, no? I did. So he got missing for, how many days was he missing? Three days. Three days he was missing. Can you imagine if you were lost for three days, I'm sure your parents would be very upset, right? So they searched for him, and they found him in the temple, in the church. And then they said to him, why did you disappear? Why we... And he said to them, I had to be about my father's business, right? So then we don't know anything about Jesus from 12 years of age. When did he reappear? What age was he? 
when he reappeared? 32. Close. Try again. He was, we're told, 30 years of age, right? So then he reappears at 30 years of age. And he goes into a desert. There's nothing in a desert, is there? So he goes in there to prepare for the next three years. And while he's in the desert, who tempted him in the desert? Somebody that you don't like. Who tempted him in the devil? Yes. The devil. The devil, yes. The devil tempted him, right? And he didn't give in to the devil. When he came out of the desert, he was baptized by who? His name was, yes, baptized. The father. The father, yes, but who did the baptizing? John the... <coughs> John the angel. John the angel, but well, we don't call him an angel, we call him John the Baptist, right? So John the Baptist baptized Jesus in the Jordan River. He began his public ministry, right? What age did we say he was now? We just said a while ago? 30, right? 30 years of age. Now, he works miracles, right? And he cures people, because Jesus is all good. He cured people that were sick, he raised the dead, and then he did something else. He wanted to begin the church. So what did he do? He sacrificed himself. He did that later. So he called what we call the apostles, the first priests. How many did he start with? It was a small number. He didn't get to it yet. Most of you are not that age yet. Um, 12? 12, yes. 12 years of age. 12 apostles. So he told them all that he wanted them to do. Now, Jesus, after a while, the soldiers came and they persecuted him and they killed him. And what day did Jesus die? It's called... What Easter? Day? No, that's the day he rose. The day he died was called Good... Good Sunday. Not Good Sunday. Close. Yes. Good Friday. Good Friday. He died on Good Friday. It's good for us. That's why we call it Good Friday. Because Jesus died, but he's not going to stay dead. He rises rises on Easter and death has no more power over Jesus. He's alive. And then we celebrate Easter as the high point of our celebration during the year. Now after Easter, he told the apostles, because they weren't understanding clearly what he was saying to them, but he told them to go pray and wait for what? What did he tell them? Go, pray, and wait. Go to the upper room. Do you know it, miss? Go, pray, and wait for what? Maybe the next time. Anybody want to take a go at it? Go and pray for the... Lord... The Lord, yes, in a way, the Holy Spirit, right? So the Holy Spirit came upon them on Pentecost, right? And after the Holy Spirit came upon them, like peace, like a light, like a dove, they were now able to understand what Jesus had said to them when he was with them for three years. Now they were no longer afraid. Now they went out and proclaimed Jesus alive, right? So after Easter, we go through the year, and then we come to today, as we come close to the year, and we just go through the whole year talking about Jesus, what he did, how he did it, how he died, and how he rose from the dead. And now we come close. This is the 
33rd Sunday, and today at the end of the Gospel, do you know what it tells us at the end of the Gospel today? Persevere. What does persevere mean? To persevere. It means... Um, it means when you're doing your... You know when you're doing your home exercise and you want to give up? You persevere. You keep going even though you don't want to. Yeah? You don't give up. You don't give up. That's a very good answer to perseverance. So Jesus is saying... But he also says in the end of the gospel today, imagine this, you will be hated. People won't like you because you proclaim my name and because you love me. Isn't that extraordinary? Do you know some people don't like Jesus? Imagine that. And they don't talk about him. And they don't want you to talk about him. Why is that, do you think? Why do you think people don't want us talking about Jesus? Because they've been taken over by the devil. Well, you're saying it. They've been taken over by the devil. Well, I suppose another way of putting that is sometimes people are led astray. They're confused. They don't know what to believe, right? And sometimes today, people are led astray. All of you, who loves Jesus? Yeah, I knew you would say that. But you know sometimes, when you grow up, people might try to tell you not to like Jesus. And you know what Jesus says? Love me, and I will always be with you, and I will always protect you. Because if people talk bad about Jesus, you try to speak good about him and be a good example. And Jesus says, I'll never be outdone in generosity. If you love me and proclaim me to others, boys and girls in your class or wherever, I will always be with you and I will protect you. Isn't that beautiful? So this is the second last Sunday of the year. Next Sunday, again, as I said, we will proclaim Jesus Lord and King, King of our lives, king of the world, and all that we do. Who gives you everything? God. God. Right? So then after that, before we celebrate Christmas, there are four Sundays left before Christmas, after next Sunday. We call that time Advent, meaning preparing for Jesus' coming. So there'll be four Sundays, and then we will prepare what day does Jesus come into the world again? What day is it? December 25th. Correct. Christmas. And you know what day of the, the week it is this year? I know. You know what day is it? Sunday. Sunday, you're right. It's a Sunday this year. So, you guessed right. <laughs> um, so we go through the whole year. So this is what we go through in all the readings every year. So be very proud of yourselves for being here today. And tell Jesus, how many of you are still didn't make your first Holy Communion yet? Put up your hands. So today now, when the others are receiving Holy Communion, tell Jesus you look forward to the day when you're going to receive first Holy Communion. And you look forward to Christmas Maybe this is a, not the question to ask, but what do you look forward to about Christmas? What do you look forward to about Christmas? Um, when Jesus is born. Jesus is born, yeah. What do you look forward Celebrating to? Jesus's birthday. Celebrating Jesus' birthday. They're very good and uh, pious answers. How do you? Spending time with our family. Spending time with my family, that's good. That's all good. Anybody else? I think that's enough. That's very good. Spending time with your family, celebrating Jesus' birthday. And what's the best birthday present you think you could give Jesus? What do you think the best birthday present would be? 
in happy birthday. Happy birthday. How would you do that? By giving your love to him. Yes, by giving your love. Yes. Go ahead. Saying nice things about Jesus. Saying nice things about Jesus. They're all beautiful answers. You did a great job this morning. So I know the Mass might seem a little long for you, but do the best you can because you'll grow up very quickly. Thank you. You can go back to your places. Let us now again this morning profess our faith in one God. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God and through God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this Sunday morning, now we humbly raise our hearts, our minds to our Heavenly Father as we bring the needs before Him. For the Church, may God's love guide us as we proclaim the Gospel truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may the Holy Spirit empower them in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are facing adversity or burden of any kind, may the glory of Jesus calm their fears and bring them peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children and youth in our faith community, may the Holy Spirit fill their hearts with joyful love of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the Lord God welcome them into his dwelling place where they may offer him continuous praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And this morning's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Victor Soares. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We just pause now for a moment in the silence of your own hearts. Heavenly Father, you know the needs in the hearts of each one present here this morning, also those who are listening and watching on the airwaves. We bring all our prayers before you through the intercession of St. Joseph and the Blessed Mother as we say the Hail Mary together. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Oh, Lord. 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord on the ground. Through him, the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in the one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. again this morning come to the most sacred part of the Mass, the Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Therefore, 
As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edgar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily Trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
This is Jesus, the risen Lord, the healer. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate. Despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray, Pray for us who have recourse to thee. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our St. Vincent de Paul group is preparing for Thanksgiving and for the upcoming winter, accepting food donations that is listed in the bulletin. Also collecting winter hats and gloves. All donations can be left in the bins in the entrances. This weekend, the Women of Faith are selling soup for $5 a quart. They are taking names for the wreath making on November 20th, and also there's a form in the bulletin to purchase poinsettias. Altar service trailing will begin this Sunday, November 13th, after the 1030 Mass. All students age eight or over are welcome. There will be a healing mass on Thursday, November 17th, here at St. Anne's Shrine. Rosary and Confessions, 6 p.m., Mass at 6.30 p.m., Benediction and Healing Prayers to follow. Life in the Spirit Seminar continues this Tuesday, November 15th, at 6.30 p.m. at St. Anne's Shrine in Fall River. Please call the rectory if you have any questions. There will be a candle sale next weekend, November 19th and 20th, and also the following weekend, the 26th and 27th. 
50% of the sales go to the youth group. Congratulations to Skip Alvin as this year's Marion Medal recipient. The award ceremony will be on Sunday, December 4th at 3 p.m. at St. Mary's Cathedral in Fall River. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery. Humbly implore, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended now. Go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thank you all for your presence. May the week be one of peace and health. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.